This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is someone who was here on Tuesday and we had a conversation. But then that conversation couldn't was not extensive because he had he didn't have enough time to tell us all he had in mind regarding the second Christmas and how he sees Christianity and our roots. So we have African Simba back here with us and um, he's going to enlighten us more. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So how was the second Christmas celebration? Christmas was fabulous. The second one? No, to well, him is the original. only one. Oh, oh, the original <laughs> one, which was 7th of January, right? 7th of January. Okay. Do you want to touch on that history again? Okay. Um, I and I, as a Christian, yeah, of African descent, observe or try to observe everything within myself, yeah, internally and externally through the spectacles of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Now, Ethiopia, if you look at the name, means men with sunburned faces. Yeah? OP means face. Yeah? So in Greek, because it's, it's a Greek name or Greek word, Ethiopian. So all black-skinned people were known as Ethiopians. Mm. You understand? Ethiopia was the name of the continent. Yeah? So historically, Ethiopia, if you read in the Bible from even Genesis, you read about Ethiopia. There's no Nigeria, there's no England, mm. but Ethiopia is there. Yeah. You understand? And because Ethiopia has never been colonized, it has a continuous history that's never been interrupted by outside invasion. Or I should say, maybe there was a five-year interruption because the beginning of the Second World War started with the Italian invasion of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we see all things through the spectacles of Ethiopia, including our spirituality. Yeah, Ethiopia is the oldest Christian nation, you understand, globally right? Mm -hmm. and historically. So when you check the roots, you see that everything within Christian tradition mm -hmm. yeah, that Ethiopia has been practicing is original. Mm -hmm. yeah, or at least more original or authentic than the Christianity that we practice here in West Africa. Because let's face it, the message that we are adhering to in West Africa came from our slave masters and colonizers who came with the Bible, which is an African book, an African message. Mm -hmm. But they took away the message, regurgitated it, and then came to deliver it and package it to us in their style. You understand? Mm. Including giving us a white Yahushua, who they call Jesus, with blonde hair and blue eyes. Mm. You understand? So when we look at the history, see, and we check ourselves within, and we read the scripture, and the scripture tells us anyway, you understand, to worship him in spirit and in what? Truth. In truth. So is right. Yahushua a black man or a white man? Well, if you're born in Africa, mm -hmm. yeah, and you're of African descent, then it's more chance that you're going to have black skin. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a description of Christ in Revelation 1, yeah, where it says his hair was like the wool of a lamb, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as white as snow. The white suggests elderliness, mm -hmm. yeah, the ancient of days. But the wool yeah, is only we have wool. Mm -hmm. You understand? We're the only people who have wool. Chinese, Asian, Australian, American, British, all of them who... <laughs> <laughs> they, have they, just, they, just, they don't yeah. have wool here. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about black skin. Yeah, some people say, yeah, but there are blacks in America, blacks. All black people are connected, you understand? Mm. But you'll find some people in India, maybe as dark as me, but they still don't have woolly hair. Right. You understand? So when it says his hair was like the wool of a lamb, you understand? And then it says his feet was like bronze burning in the furnace mm -hmm. or brass burning in the furnace. Well, you can't have black feet and white face. Mm. You understand? So when we check these things and we check where he was born, yeah, the time that he was born, mm -hmm. right, we're talking about, because people look at Jews, so-called Jews of today, mm -hmm. yeah, and say, well, if I look at the people in Israel, maybe God, maybe Jesus looked like them. So maybe this picture is identical. Mm -hmm. But the people in Israel there came by migration. Mm. You understand? Before 1947, there was no state of Israel. You understand? Right. right? Yeah. And when you check it, the Middle East is really Northeast Africa. 
The only separation is because they built the Suez Canal. So he's a black man. All right, so would so. you say that? <laughs> well, let me, let's, no, no, I need him to respond to <laughs> that. So let's is he a black man? Pardon? Is he a black man? Well, I've given you evidence that suggests it. I was not there at his time of birth. Well, you do not believe yeah, but that when he's I look at a his... white man, like the picture we are depicting no, now. No, it, it could never be. It could be. never be, okay. It I could think never I totally be. Agree. I've always had that um, okay, so thing in my head that he has a brown skin. Mm -hmm. And then I read a book one time, and then the way they described him, I feel like he had a brown skin and like he said, a kind of wool hair, so there's no way it will be white. The, the only thing that I would say is similar, yeah, and even uh, a man called Bonnie Whaler sang it in his song, he said, I never see a picture of a bar leg Jesus yet. Because even when they paint him as white with blonde hair, they still give him long hair, mm. you understand? So they know sure. he was a Nazarene, he was a Nazarite, you understand, right? And he lived a certain way. Hmm. Yeah, so would you say some of those beliefs have actually slowed down modernization in Utopia and amongst Rastafarians? Um, when you talk about the slowing down of modernization, uh, all our modernization was not geared at our progress here in Nigeria. You understand? It's only recently that we've started to do things for ourselves. Yeah, for instance, the original roads that were built here were built for Oibo's purposes. Mm. Yeah, even the ones that go into the interiors, yeah, were built to take resources from the interior. So, are you to saying the coast. That that's a bad thing? You understand? Because it's actually helpful for all of us. Excuse me, are you saying that if they didn't come, we would never have built road? I'm not so saying that. So we didn't that. have intelligence. Look, wait, no, what I'm saying to you is that before they came, we had great empires. Mm. Yeah, we were a people of great civilization. Mm. You understand? You need to start because you see the problem in Nigeria and most African people. We go to university, we learn. Uh, architecture, we learn economics, we learn um, law, we go and study engineering. We don't study about ourselves. What would you rather study? The only okay, thing so we know about you? ourselves, most of us, is what they've told us. You okay, understand? What if, if you can read between the lines and dig deeper, okay, you'll find fine. We, we agree to that, that okay, most of those roads were done for the um, good of the white man. But are you saying that if these white people didn't come mm -hmm. and colonize some of these countries mm -hmm. that are now modernized, are you saying that we would have still moved at a fast pace like we're moving right now? Okay, we've moved at a fast pace, but we've moved towards westernization mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. our problem now is that we've we've got a mix-up in our mind we think that to be modern you need to be western mm -hmm. you understand no disrespect to any of the women here but even when we look at ourselves we're we're spending high-class money that we could use to food and whatever to go and buy hair that belong to other people mm -hmm. because they've taught us or ingrained in our minds that to be more beautiful, you need to be fairer, you need to have straighter hair, you need to have longer nose. So we've got to take up false eyelash, false nail. I'm not, dis I'm not disrespecting anybody, I'm just talking the truth. You understand that when we look at ourselves, we're not representing ourselves, we're representing what they want us to be. Mm. You understand what I say? Mm. Right, so even so, when it comes to modernization, yeah. <laughs> let's look at Ethiopia now. Do you know that Ethiopia is one of the fastest developing nations in Africa right Historians now? Historians will um, dare to differ and tell you that the modernization is really slow out there. Pardon? Historians would dare to differ. Historians? Yes. Considering from, the fact that you said they've which, never been colonized. Yeah. Do you know that Ethiopia just launched a, 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 um, a, mis, uh, a satellite the other day? Mm. Do you know that Ethiopia has light railway that works? Mm. Mm. All right? We have light railway line built in Portacot during Ameche's line, during Ameche's time, yeah? I don't know whose fault it was, but it's not working. It didn't even start. And there were billions of dollars. And are you Hold saying on, that there's spent no investment? On Hold on, and we've got, we're starting to build it here in Lagos. But in Ethiopia, where you see people starving, sitting down with flies collecting on their body, they've got light railway. So is this, is this, is, this to be, is it right? because of the colonization and us what? gearing towards westernization or because we are not our brother's keeper, we are not thinking of yeah, getting better? Yeah, because we've, we've, we've been taught to serve our master's purpose, you mm -hmm. understand? You see, Ethiopia, they're modernizing as well. And like I say to you, they're now modernizing at a fast rate. But maybe because their, their maintenance of their independence mm -hmm. yeah, has kept them wholesome to a certain degree. Yes, they do. They are influenced like everybody else by outsiders. 
even outsiders are influenced by us as African mm -hmm. people. We've influenced a lot of culture in Europe, in America, as wherever, mm -hmm. you understand, right? But what I'm trying to say, if you look at ourselves, yeah, if we, if we look at our, the way we view, you understand, even the Bible, you understand, our spirituality, right? Me, I'm, I would say I'm a follower of Yahashua, mm. Christos, you understand, right? But I see him and I see my own spirituality through, through the spectacles of Ethiopia because what? That's the only thing I've got left mm. as an original untouched source, yeah, to look to. You understand? And let's face facts. If you're going to any church here in um, Nigeria, its root is Catholic. Mm. You understand? Because if you go to Deeper Life, Deeper Life, the man who started Deeper Life was a member of somewhere. He mm. was a member of somewhere. Maybe they were members of Baptist or Methodist mm. or whatever. Before Baptist or Methodist, okay, they so broke away from Roman Catholic. Sorry to cut you, but um, I think when we're talking about the problems we have as Africans or mm -hmm. even just Nigerians, right? Mm -hmm. We focus so much on religion, what we look like, how the westernization is affecting those parts, basically mm. religion and what we look like. Mm. We do not think about how to better our own lives or mm. how to measure the skills we are acquiring and how we can use it to better ourselves. So when we will move past this conversation of, oh, you now look foreign, or you dress foreign, mm. or your religion is not what you're supposed mm. to look at, mm. and how to better our economy, move mm. to how to better our economy. When are we going okay. to move past that conversation? I, I think the betterment of our economy yeah, is deep-rooted. Yeah, it's not just a uh, face-surface yeah. thing, you understand? Mm. It's deep. It's just like sometimes you may have spots on your face, yeah? The more you apply cream, the less it's going. Okay. But if you drink some bitter sometimes and you wash out your blood from inside, clean out your colon, your intestine, mm -hmm. you understand? Then you find that your face become brighter. You understand? So sometimes it's not just fixing, patching up with a plaster. We have to look deep within our spirituality. It's not really about religion, mm -hmm. you understand? But Because re religion was created to bring man closer to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let's face facts. Religion has been hijacked. Yeah. The only thing that maintains pure is spirituality, so our spirituality, our connection with our yeah, creator. I was going you know? to say, I mean, no, no, we well, no, 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 no. Like it's not about going back. It's mm -hmm. about moving forward because where we're standing, yeah, in the state we're standing, we're standing in something that was given to us. Mm -hmm. So it's not about going back. It's about moving forward, yeah, to 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 find some. We have to start to self determine. We have to start looking at industrialization. I guess. Industrialization comes so from. So maybe we should make that conversation then, yes. more of industrialization. Yes. No, it, no, industrialization. That's not what it's saying. Industrialization, yeah. If your industry is not geared at doing things for yourself, mm -hmm. you understand. Right now, we're servicing the world, right? We send out millions. Listen, my my town, Joint Krama, has 59 oil wells. Mm -hmm. If you go and see the state of my town. Yeah, in River State, you we cry. Need to go. I'm yeah? sure we have to. Not bring only, you hold back on, again. Not, only, not only have they taken our oil and mm -hmm. didn't give us anything, mm -hmm. they've destroyed what we even had okay. because our ecology has gone. Yeah, our our natural resources have gone. Yeah, our farmlands cannot be farmed anymore because of oil pollution. Okay. Right? Hold on, hold on. We need to and this go. Oil goes on. Goes on. You, know, you have to come back. Well, you have to come back. Out. Join us this oil goes out, show. gives other people light, okay. other people good life. We'll have to continue and we, this we don't have running water. But this we don't, is how we wrap up this episode of Tea right? Time. So it's deep Thank rooted. you so much for watching. One love. I remember you can catch up on this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my Co anchors, if you are and Ewa Oluwaritu, and of course, our guest, African Simba. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later. Mm -hmm.